Sir Patrick Spens. The king sits in Dunfermline town, drinking the blood red wine. Oh, where will I get a skilful skipper to sail this ship of mine? Up and spake an elder knight, sat at the king's right knee. Sir Patrick Spens is the best sailor that ever sailed the sea. The king has written a broad letter and sealed it with his hand, and sent it to Sir Patrick Spens, was walking on the strand. To Norway, to Norway, to Norway o'er the foam, the king's own daughter of Norway, tis thou must bring her home. The first line that Sir Patrick read, a loud, loud laugh laughed he. The next line that Sir Patrick read, the tear blinded his e. Oh, who is this has done this deed, this ill deed unto me, to send me out this time of the year to sail upon the sea? Make haste, make haste, my merry men all, our good ship sails the morn. Oh, say not so, my master dear, for I fear a deadly storm. I saw the new moon late yestereen, with the old moon in her arm, and if we go to sea, master, I fear we'll come to harm. They had not sailed a league, a league, a league, but barely three. When the sky grew dark, the wind blew loud, and angry grew the sea. The anchor broke, the topmast split, t'was such a deadly storm. The waves came over the broken ship, till all her sides were torn. Oh, long, long may the ladies sit with their fans into their hand or ere they see Sir Patrick Spens come sailing to the strand. Oh, long, long may the maidens stand with their gold combs in their hair, before they'll see their own dear loves come home to greet them there. Half o'er, half o'er to Aberdour, tis fifty fathoms deep, and there lies good Sir Patrick Spens, with the Scots lords at his feet.